What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can fix packet loss in Discord 2022. First of all, before we even begin, if you're experiencing problems with Discord or the Discord network, do make sure to check out discordstatus.com. On this official Discord website, you can get statistics for all of the different servers and what you're mainly going to focus on is the voice tab over here. Look to see if your location is listed as operational and if it is, there shouldn't be any issues. However, if the region you're in is currently experiencing issues, a simple solution is to wait for the issue to be resolved. It usually shouldn't be too long, but of course, Discord can have major issues once in a while. If you find that your server is constantly causing issues, you can always move your Discord server to another country. If I head across to my server over here, click the name in the very top left, then server settings, you are usually able to change the region here. But if you haven't got anything for region here, you can simply override it for all of your voice channels. So simply locate a voice channel, right click it, click edit channel, and inside of here on the overview tab, you'll see region override that you can then change to any of their servers. Usually you'll just leave it on automatic. That is the simplest solution to it and usually fixes issues if Discord is at fault. However, if Discord is up and operational and all of your friends are using Discord just fine, what else can we try? Well, first of all, restart your device, phone, laptop, PC, turn it off completely and turn it back on. If you're still having an issue, make sure that you're using a wired connection if possible, as using wireless isn't always the best for packet loss. If you're still experiencing issues on a wired connection or you're right next to your own router, something else we can do is try and mess around with a Discord setting that could be causing issues. Open up Discord, click the user settings wheel in the bottom left, then look for voice and video under app settings and simply scroll down on this page over here until you get to crisp. When it sounds like you have bad packet loss, you're cutting out or your voice is choppy, it could be caused by noise suppression instead of your internet connection. Try and disable crisp and any other noise suppression inside of Discord by using this toggle over here and this toggle over here and see if you sound any better. If you're actually seeing packet loss in the information in the bottom left, something you can try is right over here. Quality of service, enable quality of service high packet priority. If this is off, try and turn it on and see what happens. If it's on, try and turn it off and see what happens there. If that doesn't help anything, something else we can try and do is simply use a VPN. If you have a bad route to Discord servers through your current internet connection, if you use a different route to get to that same server, especially if you're using a local VPN, such as in the same country as you, you'll barely notice any ping difference, but you'll get a completely different route between you and the physical server itself. This way you can fix a lot of issues in between you and Discord. If the issue is somewhere between your computer and the Discord servers, then it's really up to your ISP to fix whatever issues they're having, or you'll just have to wait it out. Finally, if you're still having issues, you can try reinstalling Discord completely, but do try and use the web version of Discord first. Head across to discord.com, click login, and after you successfully log into your account, in the top right, you should be able to click open and join voice channels through your browser. You'll be prompted whether you'd like to allow your microphone. When you click yes, you should be able to talk in channels. If the issue is fixed, then it could be your Discord installation. What we can do to try and reinstall it is hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. When this new file explorer opens, simply look for Discord in here and delete the folder entirely. Inside of your app data Discord folder, you'll find all of the cached files for Discord and these will be regenerated by the program the next time you launch it up. Of course, you'll have to re-log into Discord, so that shouldn't be an issue. What you need to do next is head back to the app data folder here, so out of roaming, and then into the local folder. Inside of here, look for Discord once again and delete this folder in its entirety as well. This is where Discord and all previous copies of Discord are stored on your computer, the actual EXEs themselves. When you do so, you'll need to re-download the Discord installer from Discord's official website. Upon reinstalling and logging back in, things should work properly. Now, if you're not able to navigate these folders here, click at the very top by view, and then make sure that hidden items is checked. If you're using Windows 11, you'll have to enable hidden items somewhere else. And with that comes the end of this video. 
hopefully you've solved your packet loss issues. If you have and you're interested in getting yourself Discord Nitro, I do plan on doing giveaways monthly in a very short while. So do subscribe and check the description down below for any giveaways that I have going currently. I'll try and keep all of my Discord videos up to date in the description. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.